this life and share this and this is going to change your life Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So I want you to share this. Just let me know when you have shared, especially on Facebook, and we will get rolling. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. Glory now to listen God. to me clearly. Mm -hmm. This is a very prophetic message and it's a prophetic message for now and for the time that we are living in. Now you have to understand that man, every creature that has been sent to represent God mm -hmm. has four faces. Mm. Has four faces. Mm. In you, there are four manifestations of God that is upon every human being, mm. but not exclusive to human beings. Wow. But it is given to men. Now, depending on the area of life, the area of your life, that you desire results, you need to tap into one of the faces. Mm. So there are things that you pray for, you are not able to achieve them, not because you are not praying. Mm. The problem is you have not understood the nature mm. of Christ Jesus mm. in you. So what happens is you find yourself moving backwards instead of moving forward. Yeah. We are living in a time that if somebody is not spiritual, mm -hmm. if somebody is not spiritual, and when I talk about spiritual, I'm talking about those who are walking in the knowledge and understanding of the power of God. Yes. Yes. We say spiritual because if you read 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and you read from verse 6 to, uh, to 16, I believe, mm -hmm. it says something very interesting. It says, spiritual things are discerned by the spiritual. Mm -hmm. So God has not called you to be a Christian. He's called you to be spiritual. Amen. Amen. The word Christian is simply, it was actually an insult. Mm -hmm. Yes. After Christ had resurrected and ascended, it was actually an insult. Yes. So men use this to demean and to look down on those who are following a man called Jesus. Yes. So it was like saying those Jesus freaks. Yeah. It was really an insult. But the Lord took it and glorified it. Amen. Amen. Because it was like those Christians, those guys that follow Jesus. Yes. Because remember, in the time that these men were following the Lord Jesus, was a time that the law was still very strong yeah. in Israel where they were. Mm -hmm. So they were frowned upon and looked down upon, but the power of God bore witness of who they were and what they were saying. Yes. And many came to the faith. Uh -huh. So now, you need to understand this you need to understand this, that a man, a man is complete when you become spiritual. That is why the title is The Four Faces of a Man, mm -hmm. or The Four Faces of Man. And when I speak about man, I'm saying the complete man. If you go to Genesis chapter 2, go to Genesis chapter 2 very quickly. Uh, let me grab my Bible here. Let me open it very fast. And uh, this will help you to understand. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I want you to go to verse, verse 7. Amen. Genesis chapter 2, verse 7. Uh-huh. Genesis 2, verse 7. Uh -huh. And the Lord God formed man of the dust of the ground mm -hmm. and breathed into his nostrils the breath of life, and man became a living soul. Notice this. God is creating a man, breathing into him, but Adam is not becoming a spiritual man. He's not becoming a complete man. He's becoming a living soul. Amen. Meaning Adam was still living within himself. Mm -hmm. He was not living in the capacity of God. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say that again. Mm. Adam was not anointed. Mm. Mm. Teach us. I, I wish somebody could hear this. We hear you, Papa. We hear you. <laughs> Adam was not anointed. There was no anointing that was upon Adam. Mm. But he had been given a mandate. Mm. He was a man that was still under construction. 
Mm. Wow. So deception was easy to get him because he was still a man living within what? His soul. Mm. Meaning there were still desires that were attached to self. Yes. And not to God. God came, said, listen, I want you to take care of this. I want you to do this. I want you to do that. This is why God visited him every cool of the evening. Why? Because he was still being taught. Yeah. He was still being brought to understanding, to the true nature of who he really is. Uh-huh. So when the devil enticed Eve, he came and looked at Eve and said, Eve, did God say you cannot eat from any tree? She said, no, uh, God said we could eat any tree. Notice Eve could not even discern the intentions Mm. of the heart of what Satan was trying to do. That tells you that their spiritual discernment was not there because they were not spiritual men. They were soulish men. Mm -hmm. That's good. So they had no ability to weigh the heart, Mm -hmm. to know what are you trying to do. You see, the Lord Jesus was among people. And when people would speak, the Bible would say, and Christ knowing their thoughts... Christ knowing their heart. Christ knowing. How was Jesus knowing? Because he was a spiritual man. Yes. Wow. Amen. Amen. Elisha was in the wilderness and a, and a whole army was looking for him. Uh-huh. They were looking for him because every time they were planning something against Israel, their plans were known. So they said, do we have a spy amongst us? They said, no, we have no spy, but Israel has this man who has the ability to know what we are planning. Mm. So what we need is to look for him and kill him so that we can destroy these people. So a lot of believers, they love God. They're in Mm. the presence of God like Uh Adam was. Uh God visits them. They see God, but they are not spiritual. So in order for them to have insight... And yeah, foresight yeah, yeah. of what God really wants or to work with God, uh-huh. it is impossible because they are still living within Jesus. themselves. Wow, wow. I feel the spirit of God. Hallelujah. I feel the spirit of God. I feel the spirit of God. I feel the presence of Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord Jesus, you are glorified and you are yes, magnified. Jesus. You are a good God. You yes. are an awesome God. Now listen to me clearly and listen to me the best way that you can. Saul was anointed. Saul could prophesy, but Saul lived within himself. Uh Even though he was the anointed one of God, Mm -hmm. Saul could no longer walk with God. Uh So the issue Mm. of believers is that for you to become a complete man, it means that your soul is functioning according to its design. Amen. Your body is functioning according to its design. Mm-hmm. And your spirit is functioning according to its design. Yeah. When all these three mm. are functioning the way they should, yes. then you become a complete man reflecting the full image of God. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Wow. That's good. Wow. Amen. So there are Christians who are more soulish than they are spiritual. Uh-huh. Their soul goes before their spirit. And we are seeing a lot of it right now. Yes. Mm -hmm. We have people who are more in the flesh. Mm. And we have people who are completely in the spirit. Now the problem is not, you see, anyone who is spiritual. Let me just correct an error if it's okay. Can I correct it? Please, please. Keep sharing. If you're not sharing, uh, I don't know what you're doing. (laughs) <laughs> I, I, I want God to help us today. Liba <laughs> Kataya. Mm. Now listen to me. Try to listen to me the best way that you can. Mm-hmm. A complete spiritual man. Uh-huh. Remember the expression of the spirit. I'm going somewhere. I want you to really understand this. The expression of your spirit mm-hmm. is reflected in your soul. Mm. And your soul carries it out through your body. Mm -hmm. The spirit cannot override the soul because the soul is the middle man. Mm -hmm. Now understand this with everything that is in you. A real spiritual man is not ignorant of their physical life. Uh, Amen. 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 To be spiritual does not mean you should not dress nicely. Yes, amen. Right. People equate poverty with spirituality. That's false. Yeah. 
people equate to be spiritual with letting go of yourself your 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 lips are cracked like the desert you know it's just like that is not spirituality this is why the lord jesus said when you fast anoint yourself oil yourself look like you're not even fasting yeah. why because true true spirituality makes you look beautiful it makes Amen. you look attractive Amen. when jesus was on the mount of transfiguration he came down he looked good when jesus resurrected and he was appearing to the apostles he would appear with them to them and say hey what did you guys cook bring the fish he sits yes. down and eats Amen. with them Amen. to be truly spiritual mm-hmm. you manifest a man in his fullness mm-hmm. The nature of a man in its fullness. Yes. I'm not saying the f- nature of a carnal man. Mm. Amen. I wish somebody's understanding yes. what I'm trying to I say. Understand. Some people are so holy that they are holier than the Holy Spirit. Yeah. <laughs> that the Holy Spirit is even looking and saying, hey, <laughs> what is going on here? I, 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 I wish somebody could catch this. I wish somebody, somebody could understand this. this. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Now, now listen, listen to me and listen to me the best way that you can. Uh, as the Lord is, is trying to help us here. Yes. So when you become a spiritual man, in this natural world, you function in four manifestations. Mm-hmm. And we are going to go into these four manifestations in a second. And I'm going to show you how it applies to you. Mm-hmm. And what God requires of us yes. as spiritual men. Mm-hmm. Glory be to Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Uh, uh, YouTube, are you there? If you're there, just type fire, fire, fire. We are there. If you're there, just type fire, 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 fire. Ke makadosh. Makuria madia antalabaya. Felika anturo enkerebia antaladoshta. Levende levendema. Makupa reve. Liba anto lepronde kakubia antalama hadiada. Levende levendemako. Libra antukia amasto onka. Liva vavadia amaka. Velekitia asto onkre kedebea. Letonte le make de gida antala antala ama. Velika antuba antalabaya kaha. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, Watch this. Watch this to the best of your ability. Let us go to uh, Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 4 to 10. Mm-hmm. Ezekiel chapter 1, verse 4 to 10. Uh, who has the other mic that can read? Uh, Bishop Mike, go for it. Chapter 1, 4 through 10? Yes. And it reads... And I look. Sorry, I know people in the prophetic <laughs> class, they're having nightmares right now. <laughs> keep, keep, keep going. Uh-huh. And I looked. And mm-hmm. behold, mm-hmm. a whirlwind came out of the north, mm-hmm. a great cloud and a fire enfolding itself. Yes. And a brightness was about it. Mm-hmm. And out of the mist thereof as the color of amber. Yes. And out of the mist of the fire. Yes. Also out of the mist thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. Uh-huh. And this was their appearance. Uh-huh. They had the likeness of a man. Yes. And everyone had four faces mm-hmm. and everyone had four wings. Yes. And their feet were straight feet. Uh-huh. And the sole of their feet was like the sole of a calf's foot. Uh-huh. And they sparkled like the color of burnished brass. Uh-huh. And they had the hands of a man under their wings uh-huh. and, on, in their, and on their four sides. Uh-huh. And, they ha- and, the f- and they four had their faces in their wings. Uh-huh. Their wings were joined one to another. Uh-huh. They turned not when they went. Uh-huh. They went everyone straight forward. Uh-huh. As for the likeness of their faces, Mm. they four had the face of a man Mm -hmm. and the face of a lion Uh on the right side. Uh And they four had the face of an ox on Uh the left side. Uh They four also had the face of an eagle. Uh That was 10. That was 10? Mm -hmm. Uh Now, Now, notice something. He's saying that their face looked like... Mm -hmm. He did not say their face is. Mm. Come on. Come on, Papa. (laughs) You will never see. (laughs) Let let me keep going because I don't want to mess you up yet. Go to Revelations chapter 4, verse 6 to 9. Revelations chapter 4, verse 6 to 9. Revelations chapter 4, verse 6 to 9. You read this one. Mm-hmm. You, you, yeah. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> Revelation 4, mm-hmm. 6. 
tonight. Mm. Yes. And before the throne, there was a sea of glass like mm. unto crystal. Yes. And in the midst of the throne mm -hmm. and round about the throne mm -hmm. were four beasts full of eyes before and behind. Mm -hmm. And the first beast was like a lion, mm -hmm. and the second beast like a calf, mm -hmm. and the third beast had a face as a man, mm -hmm. and the fourth beast was like a flying eagle. Mm -hmm. And the four beasts had each of them six wings about mm -hmm. him, mm -hmm. and they were full of eyes within, mm -hmm. and they rest not day and night, mm -hmm. saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, mm -hmm. which was and is and is to come. Mm -hmm. And when those beasts give glory and honor mm -hmm. and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who liveth forever and ever, mm -hmm. the four and twenty elders fall down before him that sat on the throne and worship him that him that liveth. Did you get to to, uh, to twenty uh, to? This is ten right now. Uh, okay, uh, you can stop there. Okay. Uh, skip. No, no, that's good. That's good. Yeah, we were supposed to stop at nine, but that's good. So notice this. In these two passages, we are given two kinds of angels. How do we know that? Go to Ezekiel chapter 10, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Go to Ezekiel chapter 10, verse 20. Mm -hmm. Ezekiel chapter 10, verse 20. Amen. Uh -huh. Go ahead. Ezekiel 10, 20. Yes. This is the living creature that I saw under the God of Israel by the river Shabar. Mm -hmm. And I now, no uh, notice. Mm -hmm. So when he saw... the creature or the four living creatures that came when he was by the river mm -hmm. he did not see four of them he saw one mm, yes. Read. this is the living creature that i saw under the god of israel by the river shabar uh -huh. and i knew that they were the cherubim cherubims notice he's saying this is the That's creature good. that i saw huh. that came out when i was by the river shabar and I know that they were cherubims. Aye. This is they, this, they, <laughs> this, they, this, they. Wow. Now, so the description you're hearing of the face like this, the face like that, the face like this, the face like that, it is talking about one being. Yes. Wow. Amen. But in Ezekiel, it's talking about an angelic group called cherubims. Mm -hmm. Cherubims have four wings. Mm -hmm. And Satan was one of the cherubims. Yes. Now, if you look at Lucifer, Lucifer does not have four faces. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a drawing of Lucifer, uh, of the devil with four faces? Mm -hmm. There's no description anywhere you see of the devil having four faces. Mm -hmm. But the devil is a cherubim, mm -hmm. and the cherubims have an appearance of what? Four faces. Four faces. Mm -hmm. But when you go to the book of Revelations, mm -hmm. the creatures that you're seeing there are not cherubims, but mm -hmm. this are seraphims. Mm -hmm. How do we know that? Because seraphims have eyes all over their body mm -hmm. and they have six wings. Yes. But they also have four faces. Uh -huh. Now, what separates them from cherubims is that cherubims operate on a different dimension or different heavenly dimension than seraphims do. Mm -hmm. The word seraph really literally means burning ones. Mm -hmm. Now, why are they burning? Because God is a consuming fire. Yes. Anyone close to God become, becomes what? Fire. Amen. On the day of Pentecost, when the children of Israel, when the apostles of Jesus were waiting on the Holy Spirit, mm -hmm. when God came up to them, they began to burn and there were tongues of fires on their head. Yes. Meaning that when you get close to God, yes. you begin to burn. Yes, so amen. now you begin to see the parallel uh -huh. and you begin to see the similarities. Wow. Hallelujah. In the realm of the spirit, when you look at a believer who is a complete man in God, yes. you don't see them to appear like a man, yeah. but you see a man inside of fire. Amen. When you see the same way Moses saw a burning bush and he was not being consumed. It is the same way the children of Israel saw Moses. Yeah. They saw Moses being so bright. 
being so bright yes. that it was uncomfortable to look upon him that they had to put mm. a veil over his head yeah. for them to look at him yes. because it was unbearable. Yeah. When a man begins to be close to yes. God, Hallelujah. you begin to burn. Yeah. Yes. Somebody is not listening Hallelujah. today. Yes. I wish somebody yes. could hear me. Yes. Yes. You begin to burn. Yes. You become on fire. Amen. When the Lord Jesus called me, he gave me a mandate. He told me, create a people of fire don't make Amen. people on fire yeah, yeah. because somebody Hallelujah. who is on fire can be put out yeah. but somebody who has become fire yeah, it yeah. has become their nature Hallelujah. they can never be quenched Hallelujah. i wish somebody could hear me i wish somebody could hear me yeah. now listen to me now the difference between cherubims and seraphims is that seraphims are closer to the presence of God. Uh -huh. Not saying that cherubims are not close to God because in the dimension that they function, God is also there because God is everywhere. Mm -hmm. Now, so many of you, if you join my prophetic class, you know this. Those who I teach these things, they know this. Mm -hmm. We have different heavens. Yeah. This is why uh, uh, Paul said he was caught up to the third heaven. Yeah. But in reality, there are more than three heavens. He's saying, I ended up on the third heaven. If I tell you I ended up on the third heaven, it means there is a fourth one, there is the fifth one, there is the seventh one. This is why the Bible says that Jesus ascended above all heavens. Yes. Yes. Meaning all heavens, he did not number them. Why didn't he say Jesus ascended above the third heaven? Yeah. It means there are more than three heavens. Amen. Amen. That's good. There are more than three heavens. In fact, in heaven, they are not called heavens because heaven means a perfected place. Mm -hmm. In the realm of the spirit, they are called realms of light. Mm. Mm. On earth, we refer to it as heaven. Yeah. I wish good. somebody could That's understand good. this, yeah. but I'm going to teach that another time. I'm going to teach about the mystery of heaven mm. at a certain time. Amen. Now, Amen. now capture Amen. this. Capture this the best way that you can. In every dimension of heaven or every different sp sphere of heaven the throne of god is there amen mm -hmm. in reality when you go to heaven and heaven looks like earth you are in the lower spheres of heaven mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm. Wow. the more you go deeper into heaven you cannot describe it with earthly words because it looks nothing like earth mm -hmm. i wish somebody yeah, could yeah, catch amen. me amen. i'm just trying to help somebody thank you papa that is why it says the Lord fills all things. Yeah. Because God is not in one place, but is in all places. Yeah. And yeah. every creature and being that God has created experiences God. Yes. According to where they are. Amen. We have been blessed and we have been given the privilege to be able to visit the kingdom. That is why it's not called, it's not called just heaven but the kingdom of God meaning the expanse of his rulership yeah, the amen. expanse of his dominion mm -hmm. we have access to it uh -huh. yes. but this is reserved for spiritual men amen. and one time we will speak about it amen. and we'll go into deeper detail on it now capture this with the best of your ability so we see that the seraphims are different because number one they are burning ones uh -huh. But cherubims are bearers of the glory of God uh -huh. or guardians of the presence of God. Mm -hmm. We see seraphims have eyes all over their body. Mm -hmm. Cherubims don't. Mm -hmm. So their nature is different, but their manifestation in some sense is similar. Mm -hmm. They all have what? Four, Four faces. faces. Yes. Wow. But when you read it, your imagination is you think there are four literal faces. Yeah. That's not what it's saying. Mm. It's saying one had the face, it says, and one had the face like of a flying eagle. Have you ever seen somebody that looks like a flying eagle? Mm -hmm. Is that description mm. of a face of a nature or a nature? Mm. Mm. Wow. nature. Mm. Wow. It's about the nature. Mm. Wow. If I come to you and I say, you look like the president, I'm not saying you look like Donald Trump. Mm -hmm. I'm saying you are appearing presidential. Oh. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Wow. wow, that's deep. This is deep. This is deep. <laughs> if I say you look like a calf, I'm not saying you are a calf. <laughs> <laughs> is this making sense? Yes. Ah, uh, these yeses are too small. Yeah. Maybe I should yeah, go yeah, offline. We are just getting somewhere. Uh -huh. uh, are you Facebook? Are you there? YouTube, keep sharing all those who are using Super Chat. God bless you. Makapaka dia antalabaya kata. 
levana mahazu velekidia asto onkra kadaba yaba leme katushia antalaba anku ivala antuba ante lebradia antakata yaba now capture this capture this if you are there say i am there I'm there. I'm there. Uh, if you are there, say I am there. I am there. If I'm overloading you with information, just say and I will stop. No. But I cannot tell you what I'm telling you without telling you what I have told you. Ooh, <laughs> <wow>. <laughs> because I will lose you. <laughs> Glory be to the Lord. Glory be to the Lord. <laughs> mm. Now, the first face is like of a lion. The second face is like an ox. Mm -hmm. Or a calf, ox. Actually, in Hebrew, it's an ox, not calf. Mm -hmm. The third face was like of a man. Mm -hmm. The fourth was like the fourth face was like a flying eagle. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard me tell you that when you meet an angel or an angel appears to you, they look human being. They look like human beings. Mm -hmm. yeah. Have you ever heard me say that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, I've told you many times, yeah. many times I've seen angels, you don't even see wings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wings are not, remember these are spirit beings. Wings are not technically for flying. Mm. They represent the dimension they operate in. Mm. It is like ranking, you know, like uh, ranking in the military. Wow. It's like stripes wow. in the military. Um, that's crazy. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> Teach us. What? <laughs> uh, I wish people could hear me. But now yeah. notice this. Watch, th well, notice this. The first face, every believer, mm -hmm. the first face when God looks at you, he is not seeing the face that you see. Mm. Mm. God is pursuing the face of a lion. Mm. Mm. Because remember, the Lord Jesus is referred to as a lion first, yes. not as a human being. Yes. 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 Ah, I wish wow. somebody could capture this. Yes. Yes. I wish somebody could capture this. Mm. Wow. Hi. There are things in life you will never be able to achieve as a believer, unless the nature of a lion mm. comes and manifests mm. through you. Mm. Amen. 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 That's good. Hallelujah. A lot of Christians simply operate in the realm of a man, mm. the appearance of a man. Mm. The reason why the Bible says you are in the world but not of it, this is the difference. Mm -hmm. It's not that you, you come from where they don't come from. We were all created from God. Mm -hmm. But what makes us different is that we manifest God differently because we don't look like them. Mm. This is why the Bible tells you do not conform to the world. Mm. Mm. God is saying don't become like them. Yeah, yeah. But renew your mind so that you become like a lion first. Yes, yes amen. Wow. When you want to get results yeah. mm -hmm. oh. in your prayer life, yes. Amen, amen. you cannot get it unless you are aggressive and bold yes, like amen. a lion. Amen. amen. Absolutely. Amen. amen. As a believer, you will never overcome any spiritual battle ah. manifesting a calf. Mm. You will never overcome any spiritual battle manifesting an ego. Yeah. You will never op overcome any spiritual battle manifesting as an ox. You can only defeat evil manifesting as a, a lion. lion. Amen. Wow. wow. Amen. So That's good. Deep. So when you're praying, this is why you find that when I pray, if you've known me, those who are around me, when I'm praying, there's a time I pray to God yeah. like a man. There's a time I communicate to God as an ego. Mm. Mm. When I was giving you spiritual things to do, go grab this, go grab this. I am ministering to you as an ego. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. Last night, I was ministering to you as a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wow. The night before where we prayed for two hours straight, mm -hmm. I was manifesting what? A lion. lion. 
That is why I was not, uh, with, with, with uh, my handsome face, I was not praying, oh Lord. <laughs> it was different, why? Because it was a different nature coming yes, out. It yes. was not cute prayers. In fact, I was irritated when they were with me in the room saying, Father God, they're like, Father God. I was like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is this not true? <laughs> because I was trying to provoke something in them to yeah, become yeah. a lion. Yes. Amen. Yes, amen. That's good. Proverbs chapter 28, verse 1. Mm-hmm. Wow. Proverbs 28, verse 1. Mm-hmm. Facebook, keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing, keep sharing. 28. Yeah, you, you go, go ahead, okay. son. Uh-huh. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, mm-hmm. but the righteous are bold as a lion. Uh uh-uh. uh. The righteous are like what? A lion. A lion. Bold, bold as, as what? A lion. Is that not the same like the righteous look like a lion? Mm-hmm. So it is a nature. Read it one more time. The wicked flee when no man pursueth. The wicked flee when no man pursueth, but... But the righteous are bold as a lion. So the nature of a righteous man manifests a bold lion. Wow. So the spirit of wow. boldness is the manifestation of the face of what? A, a lion. lion. Mm. Wow, that's wow. good. A lion is not afraid of anybody because he's the king. <laughs> So when God is saying he is the king of kings, which kings is he talking about? Mm. You and me. But he's talking to those who manifest what? A lion. That is why not every Christian that will make heaven will rule with Christ. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Jeez, Papa. Teach us. There are some that will just be the citizens of the new world that God is bringing. Mm. But there are those who will be in places of authority Mm. with God. Amen. Amen. If a leader is not bold, does not have that presence yeah, of yeah. a leader, yes. come on, come on. you yeah. cannot follow them, you Absolutely. cannot vote for them. Yeah. If they think, ah, just, you know, mm. let us do, th-. you're saying mm, this one, if trouble comes, he can't fight for me. Yeah, yeah. This one, when trouble comes, he will go and hide. Mm. This one will not defend me. Why? I, mm. I wish somebody could hear me. Mm. I wish somebody yeah, could yeah. hear me and capture this. Yeah, mm. yeah. So when you're dealing with things, you must invoke wow. the nature of a lion, which yes. is the first face of God himself. Uh-huh. Yeah. Jesus says, I is the lion of the tribe of what? Judah. Judah. So the nature of a lion, number one, produces boldness. Yes, amen. I am not afraid of anything. That's good. Amen. I am not afraid of anything. That's good. That is why the Bible says, for God has not given us the spirit of what? Fear. Fear. Why? Your nature, when he's saying God has not given us the spirit of fear, he's not saying that God is giving you another spirit. It is saying when God created you and when you gave your life to Christ, the new spirit man that you possess Uh, has no DNA of fear in them because they are a lion. So when God looks at you, he's required to see a lion. Yes, yes. (laughs) Notice when God anointed David, David was not afraid of anybody. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He was a teenager. Yeah, yeah. He was not afraid yeah, of anybody. Yeah, yeah, Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When he stood and they said, you, how, how dare you challenge Goliath? He said, me, I have killed lion and bears. <laughs> they will, this guy will be no different. Yeah, yeah. And he's talking about a giant. Yes. Not an animal that maybe cannot reason well or has no tools to fight. He's talking about a giant and this is a teenager. Yeah. Who cannot even hold a sword. Yeah. Who cannot even operate a bow and arrow? Yeah. But he's challenging a giant, mm. saying, You, I will cut off your head. Yeah. Yet he does not own a sword. Yeah. yeah. Somebody is not listening Hallelujah. to me. Hallelujah. He's looking at a giant. Yeah. David is not owning a, a sword. Mm. He does not even have a shield. Mm. He does not even have an armor. Mm. But he's looking at a giant. He's saying, Today. Today. Listen to me. I will cut off your head and I will feed it to the crop. Mm. Ah. Mm. Goliath even was shocked. This is why you find even the king was shocked. <laughs> Who is this young boy talking like this? It was a different face of yeah, God. Yeah, yeah, amen. Oh, ah, amen. amen. The reason why you believe giants will be removed or mountains will move, it is not about them moving because you prayed. They will move because when you roar as a lion, amen. they know God has come. Amen. I, I, amen. Wish, amen. I wish somebody could amen. hear me. Proverbs chapter 30, verse 30. Quickly. Mm -hmm. 
We are dealing with the first face, the face of the lion. Amen. Mm. Mm -hmm. My sons know when I want to minister prophetically, if it's a day I want to prof minister prophetically, when I will be praying, they'll just hear me go, hey! They'll be, hey, what's going on? It's because the buildup and my countenance changes because I am now ready to destroy every altar, yes, every yes, demon yes, that yes. will play. Oof. When you see me performing deliverance, I'm not cute. Mm -hmm. No, I'm angry. But I'm not angry at anybody. It is a lion. Mm -hmm. How dare you do this? You see, unless you have that spirit that yeah. you look at, you, do you know? <laughs> Yeah. Unless that is not there, you yeah, don't yeah. have that holy anger. Where yeah. is that holy anger coming from? It is the nature of a lion. Yes, yes. yes. Wow. That's good. Uh, I feel like I'm talking hey man, to myself. Hey we hear you, we hear you. Strut like a lion too. <laughs> I, I wish somebody could hear me. Yes, yes. YouTube, are you there? YouTube, are you there? Kamakush. Elende, Elende Makaya. Hmm. There is something that happens. Mm. I get angry when I'm dealing with, I just get, I'm not angry at anyone, but I am uh, upset. Mm. But I'm upset at the, because how dare you came to my, how dare you even came here. Mm. You see, lions are very nice when they have eaten, they have relaxed, but you trespass. Mm. They will change on you. Mm. Hey, you, who told you to come here? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. If an imposter, if a hyena, comes in their territory, or even another lion group comes to their territory, they're in trouble. Mm -hmm. Then you'll see that the male lion will show up. Mm -hmm. All that time he relaxes, but when you are, uh, uh, he will show you that you don't belong here. Mm -hmm. Are you there, son? Yes. Read. Uh -huh. Proverbs 30 and 30. Yes. A lion which is strongest among beasts and turneth not away for any. Read it again. A lion which is strongest among beasts mm -hmm. and turneth not away for any. You see, when you carry the spirit of a lion, mm. he, the spirit of the lion of Judah, mm. when you have the spirit of Judah, <laughs> there is nothing that shakes you. Yeah, amen. You don't turn away because Corona is, uh, everybody's panicking, you panic. Yeah, yeah, amen. Yeah. The Bible says, a thousand will fall on your side, 10,000 your, on your right. He shall not come near you. Your, your, your security is not, a, 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 I'm scared. You know your nature. You say, me, as a lion, mm -hmm. what will pull me down? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't turn away from any. If an opportunity shows up, you're not afraid. You don't undermine yourself. Oh, I'm not the best. I'm not the greatest. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know if I can do it. That's not a, that is not even a thought. Mm -hmm. You are ready for any challenge because you know who you are. Yeah. Amen. Amen. You don't turn away from anything. Yeah. Amen. Your present condition may look one way, but you're not afraid. You're not tomorrow. Yes. You walk with your head high because Amen. you know where you're going. Amen. Amen. Yes. Amen. <laughs> I wish somebody would hear this. Amen. Hosea 11.10. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody just type fire, type fire, type fire, fire. type fire, type fire. 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 Maka paradia antala barabaya. Lebrende kakugia amasto onkre gedibia maya. Hosea 11.10. Hosea 11.10. Yes. They shall walk after the Lord. He mm -hmm. shall roar like a lion. When he shall roar, then the children shall tremble from the west. When you walk with God... There is a roar from heaven that comes out of you. Mm -hmm. Anyone who tries you. You know there are people who say in the name of Jesus, demons run. There are people who say in the name of Jesus, demons look and they laugh. Yeah. <laughs> they say, look at this one. <laughs> I remember one time. <laughs> I remember one time. A, a man of God called me and he said, ah, how, how, do you, how do you deal with the... With the uh, uh, with, with uh, uh, mocking spirits. Mm. I said, mocking? I've never heard of a demon <laughs> called a, a mocking spirit. Uh -huh. said, no, 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 no. I was praying for this man and the demons were mocking me. So they are mocking spirits. Oh, 
said no. <laughs> Mm. They are playing with you because you have no power. Mm. You don't roar. Mm -hmm. You don't have the roar of a lion. Mm. Me, ah, I don't know about you, but I know about my Elijah family. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen. amen. Mm. I remember one time um, uh, a member came to me and said, you know, I saw you casting out devils out of people. And I, and I, uh, um, I, I went and, and uh, I look after this old woman who is on a wheelchair. She can't even walk, she's on a wheelchair. Mm. And she's just like has, I think she's tormented. So I decided to pray for her and I took my Bible and I said, in the name of Jesus, come out. She said, the old woman who could not walk got off her wheelchair, grabbed the wheelchair, threw it at her, grabbed her Bible, threw it at her. She said she ran out of the house. Mm. And she called 911 and she realized that not everybody can do this. <laughs> and the woman called when the police came. The woman was on the floor. She said, I don't know what happened. Uh, uh, why? I need her to come back. So she stopped working for the woman. Mm -hmm. <coughs> she said, I have learned that what you do, not everybody can do. Mm -hmm. I said, everybody can do but there is something that is missing. Mm. Amen. Amen. You see, the sons of Sceva, Sceva was a priest, mm -hmm. but he carried no power. Mm. So his children, instead of following after their father's footstep, mm. they followed after the footsteps of Paul, but never submitted under Paul. Mm -hmm. So when they wanted to go and do what Paul does, they went to look for a man full of devils. Mm. So they looked at the man, they said, come out in the name of Jesus, whom Paul preaches. Demon stopped and said, Jesus we know, Paul we know, but who are you? Mm -hmm. You don't have the DNA of a lion that can push us out. Yeah. So somebody can claim and pronounce Jesus, but a demon will not come out because the spirit of a lion is not manifesting. Yeah. Wow. I, I wish somebody could hear me. Right. I wish somebody could hear me. I wish somebody could Amen. capture this. Amen. The manifestation of a lion is not there. Yeah. When God goes to war, when Jesus goes to war, he manifests like a lion. Mm. When Jesus represents us before God, he's like a lamb. Mm. The same Jesus. Mm. The same Jesus, if he appears to you as God, his face. Mm -hmm. And his countenance and his hair and his eyes are even different. Mm. White hair. Eyes like torches and lightning. Mm -hmm. Ah, mm -hmm. the same Jesus is different. Mm -hmm. Depending on what he's doing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But Christians want to be the same person in everything they do. Hey. Yes, they do. Teach. I wish somebody could hear me. We hear you. Mm -mm. Somebody shout <laughs> fire. Fire! fire. Amos chapter 3, verse 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh -huh. 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, mm -hmm. and the people not be afraid? Mm -hmm. shall, there, shall there be an evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? Mm -hmm. Surely the Lord God will do nothing, but he revealeth his secret until his servants, the prophets. Uh -huh. The lion hath roared. Who will not fear? Mm -hmm. The Lord God hath spoken. Who can but prophesy? So who was the lion that was speaking? Mm. Jose. Mm. Amen. It was Amos. So he's saying the Lord has spoken. Mm. When he speaks, it's like a roar of a lion. But he's talking about himself. Yeah, yeah. He's saying when the lion roars, who will not prophesy? <laughs> so he's talking about himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the spirit of prophecy wow. is the testimony of Jesus. Wow, it wow, represents wow, wow. Jesus, the king who knows everything. Yes, yes. So when you are prophesying, mm. you're not prophesying as somebody that is mm. speaking from your capacity. Yeah. When you say, today I decree and declare, yeah, yeah. my life will be like this. It is you're speaking from the position of God. Yes, yes. Amen, amen. 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 You are manifesting the uh -huh. king amen. of kings. Amen. amen. When you stand before a battle and you amen. roar, you are representing the spirit of authority and power. Yes. Which is the manifestation of who? A lion. Yes, yes. That's good. That's good. Mm. I feel like I, I'm speaking to myself. 
We hear you, we hear. I want you to type today, I, I will manifest the lion of the tribe of Judah. I will I manifest will the lion of the tribe of Judah. Judah. Hallelujah. It is impossible to achieve certain results if you don't know the personality you're supposed to adapt. Mm, mm. Because that personality is the conduit of the anointing that will be produced. Wow. So good. Mm. Come people who pray cute prayers, why don't they ever produce power? Because they are not a good conduit of producing power. Wow. Cute prayer. So if I'm just gonna say, Father, in the name of Jesus, mm. I, just, I just command healing, I just command deliverance. <laughs> Healings never happen. If they happen, it's by grace. Mm. Oh, Lord, we just want to dance for you, Lord. Is it? <laughs> <laughs> but the Bible says, Jesus spoke with a stern voice. You know Jesus, uh, when he cast out demons? Mm. Hey, come! That's how Jesus spoke. Mm. When he was dealing with... He tells you he spoke with a stern voice. Yes. Meaning a serious, set, no wavering voice. Yeah, amen. Amen. Mm-hmm. So when I am commanding things to be. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Do you realize the first time God decided to, to create the universe, mm -hmm. he spoke. Mm -hmm. What happened? Big bang, bang. Mm -hmm. Creation went into motion. Mm -hmm. yeah. So people say, oh, the big bang started. I know how it started and I believe in the big bang. God spoke, bang. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes. 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 This is even scientific. They know something exploded. Mm -hmm. Or oh, they say gases. Ah, but where did gases come from? Come on. No one can explain it. Mm -hmm. There was an impulse that uh, caused the... Uh, where did it come from? Mm -hmm. No explanation. Mm -hmm. That's why they say it's a theory. Mm -hmm. We know, we, we're just telling you the answer. Mm -hmm. God, Amen. Spoke Amen. <laughs> Amen. God spoke back. God spoke back. Everything got into motion. Yeah. That's good. Are you getting what I'm saying? Yes, yes hallelujah. It's good. It's good, good, good. So if you want to produce power, even your speech must resemble what? Power. power. This is why God says, let the poor say I am what? Rich. 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 Let the weak say I am what? Strong. strong. So if you're a weak person, but I am strong, but you don't. <laughs> I am strong. <laughs> I am strong. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I am strong. Oh. Yeah. I can do the impossible. Yeah, yeah. You start seeing yourself there, strength comes. Yes, yes, yes. But if you just say, ah, I'll be strong one day, you remain there. <laughs> Maybe one day God, ooh, ooh. you know one time I, I was yeah. speaking to a woman that is going through a lot of things. And she was close to the family. And uh, one day I told her, you know, I realized that this is a stubborn person. You know, there are some people as a prophet, when I look at them, everyone I look at, by the grace of God, God is always speaking. Amen. So I looked at this individual and I told them, God has spoken to me to help you. Mm. But in order for me to help you, you have to be able to follow the instructions I'll give you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I want God to remove you from what you're going through, this poverty and things you're going through. If you listen to me, within a week, mm. you have a completely different life. Wow. I don't know if somebody's hearing me. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I literally told her that. But the lady said, okay, okay, okay. Ah, thank you, prophet. Mm. The next day she told me, uh, I just want to let you know that what I'm going through, God is the one who decided that I go through it. Mm. And, um, and, uh, and uh, yeah, I am waiting on the Lord. Mm. I said, congratulations. Wow. <laughs> you wait forever. So some people suffer mm. because they don't know who's come for their, to their aid. Amen. The second face is the face of an ox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is the face of an ox. Now, if you look in scripture, and I'm going to fly through it because this is easy for you to understand. So I'll go to the ones that are difficult for you. An ox represents the ability to work. Mm. Mm -hmm. The ability 
to work. A lot of Christians are poor because they don't know how to be a working Christian. Mm. This is why the world can mm. become successful mm. and somebody filled with the Holy Spirit speaking in tongues, mm. zero dollars wow. to their name. <laughs> zero dollars. The Bible says it is I who gives you the power to make wealth. Yes, yes. Whenever you saw an ox in scripture, it was referred to strength mm. and farming, the mm. ability to bring fruits mm. out. Mm. Yeah. That's good. And their, their incredible endurance to pull things yeah. and to do things in the farm, that it was an asset to have an ox. Mm -hmm. If you look at the women like Ruth and, and Naomi and, and Esther's, they were working strong women. Yeah. When you look at people like Joseph, the father of the Lord Jesus, his earthly father, was a working man. He was a hard-working man. If you look at Peter, Peter was fishing all night. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every one of them had a trade uh -huh. and they were consistent with it. Mm -hmm. A Christian who does not have the spirit of an ox, mm -hmm. they easily give up when the going gets hard. Help us. When the going gets difficult, they give up. Mm. That's good. When things become what they never thought it would be, yeah. they give up on what they were working on. Mm. If mm. fruits have not appeared the way they should, mm. they don't keep working the ground. Mm. Remember one of the things God told Adam, till the ground. Yes. Mm -hmm. Nothing was going to happen until Adam what? Tilled Til the, the ground. ground. Absolutely. God could not even send rain until man could what? Till, Till the, the ground. ground. Uh -huh. So, so many believers want the blessing of God, but they are not ox. Wow, wow, wow. They don't have the ability to push and yeah. make things happen. Uh. They think it's just about praying and the uh, Lord will mm. do it. I wish I was speaking to somebody. Wow. Amen, amen. We hear I wish you. I was speaking to somebody. We hear you, we hear you. So you don't need only to have the spirit of a lion because a lion cannot produce fruits. You don't see anywhere in the Bible saying, and the lion, <laughs> and the lion, <laughs> and the lion <laughs> shall bring forth blessings. No. He does not sow anything. He rules. He catches prey. He destroys his enemies. He has a roar that shakes everybody. Uh -huh. yeah. So having the spirit of a lion doesn't mean you succeed. Mm. Mm. Doesn't mean you'll be rich. Yeah. That's why when you go to Facebook, you see a lot of uh, men of God, which I thank God that there's a lot of them. Mm. Lots of prayer. They will pray deeply. But you look at their life, they have nothing. Mm. <laughs> there is an element missing. And some you see them successful, but they have no power. Mm -hmm. So they have one part, but another part they don't. Mm -hmm. God wants you to be complete. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The, f the third face is the face of a man. The face of a man is a representation of God as a human being. God among men. So when you're walking around natural men, they see you like them, but when you do things, they look at you, they say, what manner of man is this? Yes. When they look at you, they see the body and the resemblance of Jesus to men. I wish somebody could catch this. So they are natural. If you have not watched, I want you to see a, 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 a message that I speak about not a man. You are a man, but not a man. Yes. <laughs> Please go watch that. Yes. And there's another one called dust that deals with this. So I won't go too much into it because those things are there. But the face of a man is the ability to be like Christ among people. 
So you are not denying your humanity, but you are just not the kind of human that is found on earth. Somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is why the Lord Jesus was called son of man, yet he was never conceived by a man. Mm. Mm. Son of man, but he was not conceived by a man. (laughs) Somebody shout glory. Glory. Are, are you catching this? Yes. yes. Are, you, are you capturing this? Yes. So there is a nature of a supernatural man. Mm-hmm. You see, like when somebody sees me, you see me uh, just looks like a regular young man, handsome, you know, <laughs> nice accent, <laughs> dresses well. But you might think me to be like you, but I'm not like you. They may see you, they see like you look like them, but you're not them. Yes, amen. We are just an image of God yeah. manifesting to a natural man. Amen. So when they see us, they can relate to us, but they realize we are not like them, and yeah. they see that they can be like us yeah. if they follow after our example. Amen, that's wow. good, that's good. The fourth face is like a flying ego. Mm -hmm. Most believers don't have the spirit of an ego in them. Mm. Mm. And because they don't have the spirit of an ego in them, they have no ability to see far. They are short-sighted. Wow. They are short Sighted. Wow. They cannot even believe tomorrow will be good. Mm. Because they think it's just about seeing in the spirit. But look at natural men can predict like our business is going to pick up around this time. Mm -hmm. They can predict oh rain is going to rain this time. Because what? They are functioning in the element of an ego to be able to see ahead. But in the natural. Mm. But a believer has the ability to do that in the physical and the spiritual so they can zoom physically and they can zoom also what spiritually and because they can see they know where to set their feet every time every season every moment they know where to be because what they can operate in the element of what an ego the dominion of an eagle is not on earth it is in the air yes amen that's good so somebody who functions like an ego, mm. the devil can never catch you by surprise. Mm. You transform into an ego, you see them coming, you turn into a lion. Come. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. That's good. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 31. Isaiah 40, 31. Uh, you, you do, okay, go, go ahead. Me? Yes, okay. Miss Rosen. Isaiah 40, 31. Mm-hmm. Okay. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary, and they shall walk and not faint. So the number one, when you have the ability or the spirit of an eagle, You are always fresh. You're not weary. There we go. Mm. You have the ability to mold yourself. You're consistently growing. When an eagle's wings and feathers get old, he has the ability to pluck them out and come out like a brand new Mm. eagle. Mm -hmm. So you have the ability to always rejuvenate. You see, a lot of Christians go through depression. Mm -hmm. Mm They go through oppression. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The pressures of life get to them mm-hmm. because they have no ability to renew their strength. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If something happens, they don't have, have the ability to upgrade their strength to be able to withstand mm. what is ahead. Wow, wow, wow. A Christian has the ability to mount up as an ego. Yes. Notice us, us, us. 
all these things that these creatures have the faces we have the nature mm. just like they do amen that's good why does an angel need to be like an eagle mm. ah are you getting what i'm yeah. saying yes <laughs> yes so the nature of an eagle needs to manifest in you mm. Mm -hmm. because when you are before god you are supposed to be able to what? Renew your strength. Mm. Notice eagles go to mountains where nobody can get to them. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, ye have come Whoa. unto Mount Zion. This is Everything that we do is in the air when yes. you are operating in this dimension. Yes, that's good. You see, some of you, when the devil attacks you, you just need to change into an eagle and grab him and fly in the air. Hey. Yeah. You take him out of his realm. Yeah, yeah. Yes. You take him out of his realm. Oh, this is so powerful. He would die without even doing anything. Just fly high. Mm -hmm. Amen. You take him out of his territory. It's mm -hmm. done. Mm -hmm. That's how eagles deal with snakes. They just grab them and fly. Mm -hmm. And then they drop them. Snake dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> eagles have the ability to fly very high where the air is thin. Others cannot survive. Mm -hmm. They can't. Yes. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Eagles have the ability to soar. What does that mean? They don't need to do this all the time. Mm. They can mm. just glide. Yes. yes. Amen. When people are struggling, then they're just like, hey. <laughs> <laughs> I wish somebody could catch this. Catching, Papa. So it is a nature that a Christian ought to carry. Yes and the ability to run and not to faint. Mm. So you faint because the nature of an eagle is not there. Mm. Psalms 103 verse 5. Mm -hmm. Psalms 103 verse 5. Amen. Mm -hmm. Who satisfy thy mouth with good things, mm -hmm. so that thy youth is renewed like the eagles. So you have the ability to renew your youth. Remember Moses was so old, but the Bible says that his strength never left him. Yeah. And his eyes were sharp like an eagle. Mm. Ah, because the guy was an eagle. Mm. So it doesn't only benefit you spiritually, physically. Mm -hmm. mm. So when the nature of an eagle is there, mm. you know God's, what God is doing. Mm. You know what is to come. It is becomes a natural thing for mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. This is not exclusive to the most anointed. Mm -hmm. No, this is basic Christianity. Mm -hmm. yes, yes, yes. Wow. wow! 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 This is basic Christianity. Mm. Exodus chapter nineteen, verse four. Exodus nineteen, four. Exodus 19.4. Uh-huh. Exodus 19.4. Yes. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, mm -hmm. and how I bare you on eagles' wings and brought you unto myself. Mm -hmm. Who was that eagle that carried them? Mm -hmm. Moses. Moses. See how I carried you with eagle wings? Mm -hmm. Wow. Moses. Mm -hmm. So the presence of the spirit of an eagle is the presence of deliverance. Mm. <laughs> so when you operate with the spirit of an eagle, you walk in deliverance. Mm. That's good. That's good. Wow. Notice the lion, lion fights, protects territories, does this. The nature is different, but deliverance is with an eagle. Mm -hmm. mm. God desires that you carry this nature in you. Amen. 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 God desires that you carry this nature with you. Yes, yes, yes. That is why you find that the Bible says that by a prophet was Israel delivered, and by a prophet were they preserved. How yes. are they preserved? Our danger is coming. Uh -huh. Go this way. Mm -hmm. yes. This is going to happen. Aren't you guys listening? Yeah. <laughs> hmm. 
Believe God and you be established. Believe the prophet and you what? Prosper. Prosper. So there are things that egos bring. Why are egos able to bring prosperity? Because they can see where the prey is. A lion has to go and look for it. An ego can just fly and see that's where it is. Turn Mm. into a lion and go. Or fly to that place, turn into a lion and take. Mm -hmm. So this are spiritual truths of the nature that you carry within yourself. But if you are not in tune with what you ought to be, Mm -hmm. this is why Paul said something interesting. He said, I am to all so that I may save all. Mm -hmm. See him casting out devils, you see him speaking intellectually, you see him speaking, prophesying, you see him doing all this, it's because he could Mm -hmm. The problem is you are one thing to everything and it doesn't work like that. Even God, when he comes as a provider, he doesn't come like Elohim. Mm. He comes as Jehovah Jireh. Yes. God is putting on a different face to produce something different. Yes. That's good. Powerful. When God wants to heal you, he doesn't come as Elohim. He comes as Jehovah Rapha. Different name. So you want to do different things, but you want to be the same person Mm. in everything, Mm. it cannot work. Mm. Amazing. Mm. It cannot work. Mm. The Lord is calling each and every one of you today to come to the deeper place. Mm -hmm. Some of you are still ankle deep knee deep. God wants you to drown in him. Amen. 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 The good news is you cannot die because in him there is only life. Amen. Amen. In him you cannot suffocate because he's the producer of life. Yes. Jesus. Today we want to pray that God will bring us to that high place. That is the prayer me and you need to do. Mm-hmm. My sons know that if I tell them we are going to do this and do this and do this, results always come. Yeah, yeah. Amen. Foresight, insight, mm-hmm. spirit of an ego. Mm-hmm. Strength, no demon can play with you, spirit of Judah. Lion. Mm -hmm. Every day I come and I minister to you the word of God consistently with power. Spirit of an ox. Mm -hmm. We can do it all day. We were built for this. Mm -hmm. The reason why you can understand me is because I also speak like a man. Mm -hmm. So there's nothing flamboyant I need to do. Mm -hmm. There's nothing... uh, (laughs) God, (laughs) I don't need to do any of that. I just talk to you the way I speak, but you can relate. It feels like, "Ah, I thought the word of God was complicated. It's this simple Mm -hmm. because I've come to you as a man. Mm -hmm. God is trying to bring you to high places. The question is, are you going to accept where God wants to put you? Mm -hmm. When you don't position yourself you become like Lucifer who loses his place. Mm. Mm. One that God anointed, one that God lifted up, Mm. he never manifested an ego. Mm. So he did not have insight on who God is, that he thought that he could overthrow God, Mm. that he had never seen. He lost his place. There is somebody occupying your place somewhere in the world. Mm. Mm. There's somebody living in your house right now. There is somebody driving your car right now. There is somebody (laughs) who has taken your wife, your husband that you should have right now. 
there's somebody that you had an idea to do a business and something. Somebody is doing your business right now. Ah. Somebody is working your idea right now. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Are you going to accept the nature that the Jehovah God has given unto you for you to manifest differently? Some of you, the devil has stolen from you. The Bible says if a thief be caught, he must return sevenfold. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there are all these different things. But if you don't know the nature, If you don't know the nature that the Lord has built you into, you will be dry. Mm. You will be dry. Mm. You will never produce or sustain what God will give you. Mm. Mm. Let it be in your spirit, man, that when we pray, you have to make a decision. I don't want to be regular. Yeah, yeah. See, one minute Jesus is in the table turning t tables, the next minute he's sitting down. Love your neighbor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> be kind to one another. The next minute he's flipping tables. The next minute he's marking people with words that people can't even comprehend. Mm. The next minute he's telling people their thoughts. Notice his nature was different based on who he was looking at. Yeah. Let me tell you why it's important for you to have this message. Mm -hmm. Very soon, we may need to be lions because some people will try to take the freedoms that God has given ah. us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You will not turn it by prayer. Mm -hmm. You have to be bold enough to stand and say, nah, mm -hmm. we are not going to allow this in our country. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yes. If you stay quiet, they will take over and you will not be able to practice your faith. You will not be able to pray. You will not be able to walk with scripture because everybody is offended about everything. Mm -hmm. Unless you are a lion. Yeah. A lion doesn't need to break anything. Mm -hmm. But if somebody raises up against them, you will know that they are a lion. Yeah. Amen. This is coming. Yeah. This is a message to not only America, to all believers around the world. Mm -hmm. This is coming. Mm -hmm. They are going to try it on us. Mm -hmm. They opened up everything. Mm -hmm. They rejected churches to open. Mm -hmm. And some pastors have stood up and said, um, 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 uh, it's okay, uh, 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 don't call us, don't do anything, mm. <laughs> uh, uh, when they open, we will open. It's just like, what kind of spiritual people are you? Mm -hmm. To them, McDonald's is, is essential. To us, Jesus is essential. Mm. Amen. 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 I'm not saying let's go and be foolish. Just like businesses can put together things that people work with social, we can do that in church. Yes. We are only sheep to Jesus. Mm -hmm. To men we are lions. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of pastors, they had they want to tear down the picture of uh, or, or monuments of Jesus, white Jesus. You don't see a lot of men of God saying anything. Mm -hmm. 
they are quiet. You see, when you are lying, you stand out. Yeah. Obviously, we speak by the leading of the Spirit of God. But when you are lying, you don't care what people think. Lions don't lose sleep over hyenas and monkeys. <laughs> A lion doesn't lose sleep. <laughs> but if we cannot stand for what God has given us, they are favoring every other, go around the world, everybody is so good to every other religion. Muslims, Buddhists, whatever you want to practice, they are good to these people. But when it comes to us, there's no kindness. You say Jesus, it's like you're offending people. Mm -hmm. They are going to make it, oh, Christianity is responsible for slavery. No. People came in the name of Jesus and performed slavery. There's no way in the Bible that says have slaves. There's no way in the scripture that supports that. I spoke about it, I think, yesterday mm -hmm. on emotions. It's not what people make it seem to be. This book doesn't side with anybody, it sides with God, it speaks God's mind. Yes. There are Christians yeah. who don't even like it because it corrects them. Yeah. Yeah. So the problem is this now. If we are not bold for Christ, Jesus said, those who are ashamed of me, I will be ashamed of you. Some of you, your neighbors don't even know you're a Christian. I'm not saying go out and just shout, I am a Christian, no. <laughs> Some of you are not bold to say, I love Jesus and all that he stands for. Because, oh, my neighbor will be offended. Ah, my, my Instagram followers will go down. Ah, my Facebook people will... I'll be cancelled then. It means you're living for people. That's why you cannot adapt the spirit of God. Boldness in who we are. For I am not ashamed of the gospel. It's the power of God unto salvation. We're not afraid. That's why you find that I don't always post things that are happening or I don't speak like this. But this is when I have to. Because if they are speaking their mind, we're going to speak God's mind. Amen. Amen. So if they are speaking God's mind, but we're saying, guys, let's pray. What are we praying for? Don't we know God's mind? Mm -hmm. yeah. God don't like this. Mm -hmm. God doesn't like this. We're going to tell you this is bad. Yes. And we're not going to allow it. Yes. If you want to do your things, you do your things over there. We are going to do what God wants. Yes. If somebody is willing to stand, and speak of what they believe and speak down on you. But you are comfortable to sit there and be okay. It's okay, we'll just pray for them. Nah. When people defamed God, Jesus stood and said, no, you're wrong. He didn't sit there and say, ah, it's okay, let's pray for them. No. When the Pharisees tried to be dodgy with things, he said, no, 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 that's not what the word says, you're wrong. Uh, God did not say, don't judge. That's not what the Bible says. The Bible tells you how to judge. Mm -hmm. Jesus said, don't judge. But when you judge, judge this way. Make righteous judgment. As a Christian, you're called to correct things. Yes. You're not called to tolerate things. If you see something wrong, you should say it. Mm. Of course, with the leading of God. Yes. But to be quiet... Ah, it's dangerous. I am not ashamed of Jesus. I don't know about you. I am willing to die for Christ. Amen. I am not afraid of death. I'm not afraid of anything. 
I'm not afraid of who will love me, who will not love me. I'm not afraid of who will watch me or not watch me. That should not be part of you. That should not even be your care. I want to please God. I don't want to please people. It's not my priority. We need to become lions. Facebook, are you there? YouTube, are you there? We need to become lions. This is the time that we need to be eagles where it's needed. The world is in confusion right now. We need to tell them what is to come. We need to prepare them for what is to come. We need to tell them what is going to come. God spoke to me what will happen in the next eight years. I know what is going to happen. This wave will pass. I'm telling you. It will pass. It's not time yet. But if we are not wise, they will put things while they wait for the next wave. I'm speaking to you prophetically. Let us be wise. Let us be completely wise. I want you to grab something. We are going to worship God and then we are going to pray. We are going to pray. Deep prayer for God to give us the four faces to be fully functional in us. That no matter what, we will be what we are supposed to be, where God has called us to be. So we're going to worship God. They're going to worship God for a second. And while you give to God, grab your best that you want to give to God. And we're going to honor God. And then we're going to pray. You're going to say, Father, let the spirit of the ego of the lion, of the ox, and of the man who is Jesus be fully activated in me. Father, I want to be a spiritual man. I want to be a spiritual woman walking upon the earth. This is the prayer you're going to offer in your own words. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Raka patosh te ika mevaradia makadosh Rakapade de de baya Ronde bakudi asto on para baya Ze para bara 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 makada Ze para 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 makada Zora mandala baba baya Rapa rapa kosh Raba daba 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 ya Rekapakata ya mandala baya Zere mandala baya baba ya Ropa katalabaya babaya Repa katalabaya babaya Remanda laba kataya bababaya Eh sharabada baya 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 Kaprota kataya ba Makopa kataya ba in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. Today, let it be the day of my transformation. Let it be the day that I can manifest you through every situation. Today, give me the wings of an eagle. Today give me the eyes of an eagle. Today give me the eyes of an eagle. Give me insight and foresight. 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 Concerning every situation in my society. Concerning every situation in my society. Concerning every situation in my life. Concerning every situation in my life. Concerning every situation in the realm of the spirit. Concerning every situation in the realm of the spirit. Lord my God. Lord my God. I cry unto you. I cry unto you. 
Baptize me with the spirit of the prophetic. Give me the utterance of prophets. Give me the boldness of a lion. Give me the bravery of a lion. Give me the strength of a lion. Give me the ability to pull down strongholds. Give me the ability to pull down spiritual wickedness. Give my voice influence. Give my voice influence. That when I shall speak, men will hear. Children will hear. Women will hear. Politicians will listen. Presidents will listen. And their hearts will be changed. Give me the spirit of influence. As a lion roars. And animals run. And fear strikes them. May the fear of God. May the fear of God. Strike people. When I shall speak. May the fear of God. Strike people. When I speak. That it will bring them to repentance. When I speak. Let men give themselves to Jesus. Let those who departed from God come back to God. Give me intelligence. Give me knowledge. Give me understanding. Give me counsel. Give me might. Give me the fear of the Lord. Let the Spirit of God in His fullness be upon me. to the deeper place like an eagle like I go to the mountain today I look to the mountain I look to your mountain of deliverance I look to your mountain of change let me become an agent of change let me become an agent of peace let me become an agent of life Wherever I step, if it was a barren land, let life come forth. Let life come forth. Let life come forth. Let life come forth. Let my presence be the presence of God. As Moses walked with your presence, Wherever I go, let your goodness and mercy, let grace follow me. Oh my Lord and my God, this is my prayer. And I thank you that you answer prayer. I thank you that you have already heard me. And that you have answered me. I want you to do something right now, wherever you are. I want you to lift your hands. Don't sit, don't, don't lay down. I know for some people it's late, you're watching it on your bed. But there is something that is going to come upon you. 
there is something that is going to come upon you. Makara tikata yabaka. There is an angel of God that has come to me. And he has spoken to me and he has told me to tell you to stand up. There is something that God is going to release upon you. There is something God is going to release upon you. The angel of the Lord is here and he's speaking to me. Listen, you're going to close your eyes where you are. You're not going to look at the screen anymore. You're just going to stand and close your eyes. There will be a thickness of air. It will feel like air will be difficult to breathe. But you're going to inhale seven times. And you're going to say, I receive the seven spirits of God. You're going to say that seven times when I give you the word. There is something that is going to happen to you. Some of you, I hope if you're going to stand, stand next to a sofa or a bed. Because some of you will pass out and you will enter into trances and visions. There's a newness of spirit that God is bringing unto each and every one of you. Are you ready? Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Lift your hands to heaven. Elohim. Let your children receive the spirit without measure. As they inhale, let it be like Adam as you breathe into his nostril and he became alive. Let them be baptized in you, not just by you. Right now, wherever they are around the world, I release the atmosphere of the angelic around them. I increase the number of angels here and where they are. I increase their spiritual sensit sensitivity. And I command that their flesh will be opened their soul will be opened, that nothing will hinder the wave of the Spirit that is coming upon them. You have sanctified them, O Lord. You have purified them by the words you have spoken through your servant. Breathe upon them now, O oh Lord. There's a wind that is blowing to you now. <sighs> Begin to inhale. Delende, Delende, Makupa, Kadash, 
Zekatupa mada tadabaya. Leto pakoshte tendi diamako pakatish. Devun renege paka. Zakial anka kakuka. Zene mahandilia akopa tataya bababaya. Yes, it's coming upon you. It is in you now. Sato sato paka. Larabakataya. Larabakataya. Take in Jesus' name. 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 May you never be the same again. Jesus. Some of you will feel like you're on fire. Your body is on fire. Some of you will feel like you're burning. There is a purification and baptism into God Almighty that is happening to you. Some of you, you feel like something is on your head. Some of you feel like water has been poured upon you. Some will feel very, very cold. There is something that is happening to you. There is something that is happening to you. There is something that is happening to you. Kepa katalama katakataya. Tore, tore ma satuva katayaba. Thank you, Elohim. Thank you, El Shaddai, for you have done it for your people. Mm, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name. Listen to me. Maintain this atmosphere. What has been put in you today, maintain it. How many people sensed what just happened? There's an angel from, have, from the high heavens that came and gave me this instruction for you. I can even tell you the name. Thank you, Jesus. Facebook. Facebook, are you there? Kapa Suta Pakataya. Thank you, Jesus. Just type what you felt. Some of you, let me just see some testimonies really quickly. Really, really quickly. Very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. Very, very quickly. <coughs> Some of you, you feel like your stomach is turning. It's the, it's the, it's the, it's the gates of the floodgates that will flow. The rivers that will flow out of your belly is being activated. Somebody said they heard another voice behind my voice when I was speaking. Jesus. Some of you will feel it on your feet. God is stabilizing you for where you're going.
listen to me. Wow, God is good. Let me see YouTube. Uh, these are amazing things. Some of you will even find feathers. Some of you will find feathers. If you look around yourself, you will see feathers. Some people will find feathers. That's just a sign God is showing you that somebody was there. Wow, wow, the testimonies are too much. Listen to me, children of God. Listen to me. Some of you through this, even your eyes will be open. Listen to me. Listen to me and listen to me the best way you can. Maintain what God has given you. You maintain it by loving Jesus. Love Jesus. And you will never fail. Some of you will feel like a fragrance. You will smell something. Just love Jesus. You will be surprised. I love you. And Jesus loves you more. Shalom, good night.